right, go live. Yes, indeed. So we just thank God for all of those listening in on our, you know, uh, preliminary conversation. And even as we're getting ready to go live now, hallelujah. Amen. Check your feed, make sure everything is moving quickly and moving smooth and, and wonderful. We are live. We want to amen, thank God. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're giving everyone amen. time to join in. Oh, because you're going to enjoy it on the night. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, we're giving everyone time to join in. Y'all let us know. Make sure you can hear us. Excuse me. Make sure. Let us know that you can hear us. Let us know that everything is moving smoothly and, um, you know, without any issues. Ah, uh, yes. So we're, we're getting started. We're going to introduce our guest clinician on this evening. If, you, if you're finishing your dinner, come on and finish your dinner. Get those peas. Go ahead and bring that, you know, <laughs> that, that plate of peas and, uh, and finish them on up. Ain't no same folk on here tonight because same folk, remember, had, you, had, you weren't going to get up until them peas were finished. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yes, Indy, whether you like it or not, yeah. that's a message right there. Whether you like it or not, it's still good for you. Ooh. Ooh, that's Amen. good. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna write that down. Hallelujah. <laughs> yep. So, you know, Rem Kim, don't try to steal that because you got your <laughs> background up. That don't mean you got rights reserved. See, see, that's what she tried to do to us. Huh? She trying to, she trying to get rights over the broadcast, you know, yeah. see, she trying to do like, like they used to do. So like they go, <laughs> I won't name no names, but some folk, they go to other people church and then they get the recording off that them folk church. And then they be selling that recording. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, I'm messing. But no, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just being silly. I'm, I'm taking y'all back. When you, y'all remember that was a time <clears throat> when people used to congregate together in a building and uh, they called it like a service. <laughs> I know, you know, there's many that don't remember a time uh, before now, but there was a time where they built these humongous buildings. And uh, they invited people to come into those buildings and they had worship music playing and they had, you know, a, a speaker speak and uh, <laughs> it was called service. You know, sometimes they would do it on Sundays. Sometimes it would be Wednesday night. If you were shown up safe, it'd be Friday night. Come on here, somebody. And if you were shown up, shown up. See, even, that's the funny thing. Even, even the sanctified church, they wouldn't mess with Saturday. They they look, look, God. All right, you're going to give me Saturday now, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> so, so so, I guess, you know, yeah, you, you were super saved if you was, well, no, you were <clears throat> a keeper if you did it on Saturday. That's right, yeah. So I said, <clears throat> yeah, they, they was keeping it on, on Saturday. So, yeah, that, but for those that are, that are younger, there was a time when we used to actually come together in, uh, in a building together, not distanced, and uh, have service. It was a wonderful time. But, um, you know, and, and they used to actually record the service and you could buy the DVDs or the CDs or whatever. Yes, indeed. I mean, you used to have to wait in line. Lord have mercy. Now you just pull it up on YouTube. You used to have to wait in line for your CD. What y'all know about that? Amen. Amen. I'm thanking God for those that are joining. Amen. Yep, we're six minutes in. Praise his name. I see Pastor Larry Brown. God bless you, brethren. Good to see you. Amen. <clears throat> Mother Terry Little, good to see you. Amen. Mother Maggie Smith. Amen. I don't know, Mother Miss Terry, if you went, you went mother or not, but we'll give them all a shout out. Mother Maggie Smith, Sister Portia, good to see you all. Amen. We're giving time for those to join on in. I know you're, 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 you're cooking dinner, finishing dinner, getting ready for dinner, uh, but come on in the house. Amen, because we are going to continue uh, our Word Wednesday time uh, where we're having weekly conversations about what is God saying now. Come on, somebody Amen. say what we said now. now. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so we just thank God. Minister Stacy Dukes, God bless you, sis. Good to see you. Amen. We thank God for Minister Stacy Dukes, Church One Charlotte's in the house. Amen. And, uh, uh, for for uh, those that are joining, so you know we're just we're giving everyone time to join. But I want to introduce to some and present to others the right reverend, high and lifted up, train filling the temple. <laughs> yes, indeed, Amen. reverend, prophetess, Amen. music minister. Prayer cloth blesser. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Lord. 
Uh, yeah. And if you if your offering is big enough, she will bless a tambourine for you. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Good God, oh my man. See, see, I, I got I'm, I'm full of too many anointed ideas tonight. <clears throat> Y'all lucky this is being recorded so that you can go back and check it later on. Amen. Right. But the, the pastor of the soon to be Wakanda International House of Praise. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, the well, the new IHOP. Yeah. Yes, in the oh, we gonna yeah. We, yeah. Well, we'll yeah. let you use it, amen. You know, uh, but yeah, I let you know that you know we came up where and you know you can have it where praise is what we do. Ah, uh, yes, the yeah. International yeah. House of Praise. <laughs> so we thank God for Pastor Kim B. Roseboro, KBR Ministries, being on with us tonight. Come yeah. on, y'all, yeah. give her a hand, give her a God bless. Woo! Yeah, see, that's how they do it in these in these worldly churches today. They got the lights doing all this weird stuff. See, now we got to come out from among them. <clears throat> That's with somebody's spirit right now. Amen. Mm -hmm. If your church is darker than your bedroom, oh, watch out. Ooh, I'm messing with somebody's spirit on tonight. <laughs> if your church is darker than your coat closet, oh my goodness. What comprehension does dark have with light? Right. Lord have mercy. Mm. Well, that's the Bible, I believe. It Amen. Is, it is. It okay. Is, it is. All right. All right. I'll take your breath in. <laughs> well, we want to thank God. I feel the anointing tonight. The anointing makes the difference. Yes, it Amen. does. Amen. Ooh, who else we got on with us? I'm just letting everybody join. Amen. Prophetess Melinda Sneed. God bless you. Oh, it's good to see. Yeah. Prophetess uh, Arch, you know, musicianshipness. God bless you. Good to see who else we got. We got none other than the music minister himself, Minister Charles Roseboro, uh, missionary, Marion Williams, Lydia Williams, Reverend Emmanuel Williams. Amen. Thank God for all of you joining us. I'm carrying on while I'm joining. God bless you to those as we keep saying, and I keep saying every week, I'm going to start doing dual screens or something so we can make sure we see everybody. God bless Bishop Alfred and Choku, Mombasa, Kenya. God bless you. Good to see you. Sister Tanya Ellis, Okinawa, Japan. God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. Did I miss anybody? Amen. Yeah, I, yep, I got them. Amen. So <clears throat> we just thank God for all those that are joining uh, from far and near Church One Charlotte. Uh, we are continuing from our stay at home studios until the Lord uh, get this tent revival off the ground. See, see, we could have done a tent revival today if y'all in the, in, the, in the greater Charlotte area. My, my, um, my thermostat was. Uh, Thermal temperature gauge was telling me it was 70 degrees outside. Yeah. We could have done us a show enough revival uh, out there. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, that's all right. Amen. Now. But we just thank God for you all joining. Amen. Y'all praise God. First Lady Michelle in the corner, missionary to Sean the corner. God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. Praise God. Yep. Good to see everyone. So as we're getting started, and everyone, if you've had time, I know. Uh, Facebook keeps changing stuff up, y'all, yeah. where it used to be a watch party. Now it's yeah. like you either got to share it out or whatever. If you've had a chance to share it out, <coughs> because uh, y'all don't want to miss the Reverend Roseboro on the night. Reverend Roseboro, you know, in the in the uh, in the Charlotte area, y'all, there's this um, there's this 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 uh, commercial that would come on the 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 Christian radio station. And every time I say that, I you know. I, I say, you know, Minister Kim, but I say, no, it's not Minister Kim no more. I said, Reverend Roseboro. Isn't that the name of that guy that does that? Reverend Roseboro, if you're having problems at home, call Reverend Roseboro. Uh, he will he will pray for you with the anointing of God. <laughs> y'all know y'all heard those commercials, but that's what that always remind me. No, it's not that Reverend Roseboro. We don't need no snake oil or no foolishness. No, <laughs> we got the real deal on tonight. I want to thank God for Reverend Kim Rosebro. Reverend Kim, come on and say hello to everybody and, yes. and just, just greet everyone as we Amen. get started. Amen. Well, God bless every one of you um, in social media land. I do give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I'm old school, so I'm saved. I'm sanctified and filled with this precious Holy Ghost. Um, um, I do honor... Um, do give honor to Pastor and Lady Shonda Carter for this opportunity to, to be on this amazing platform. Um, I was sharing with um, Pastor Carter before we started. Uh, this, this is totally out of the box for me. So, you know, and I'm grateful uh, for this opportunity to serve. And I do honor um, your leaders, um, Apostle and Lady Bass. Um, and I honor my pastor, um, Pastor Kimberly Moore. 
And I have to, I, you know, I have to give honor to everybody. I do have to honor um, the man of God who covers me. And that is my husband, Charles Roseboro. I honor him on, on tonight. So before I get started, so let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart um, be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Um, if I can be totally honest, I, I really, really wrestled uh, with this because everybody has a word in this season. Everybody has a word. Um, in the beginning of the year, um, proclamations were released by leaders all over the world, decreeing, decreeing and declaring the say of the Lord. Um, I'm not a prophet. Um, I just am a willing vessel chosen by God that has a consistent relationship with Christ. Can I get a witness? Come on here. Yeah. The timeline. You got to be consistent in this season. Um, when I went back and read um, the theme scripture, Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles um, 7 and 14, um, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal the land. Um, so the Holy Spirit took me back to the first line of, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. So let's look at a few key words. If and humble. Um, if, if in Webster's Dictionary says, despite the possibility that no matter whether, simply put, you do the ifs and God provides the thens. One contingent upon another, one comes first and the other follows after. One is a condition that must be met. The other is a result of meeting that condition. One is contingent upon the other. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves. If you want to understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God, then you must meet the conditions set forth to receive that promise. What is that promise? <laughs> Read your word. <laughs> it goes back to 2 Chronicles 7, 14. So here is what I hear. Here's what I hear. Humble yourselves. I heard the woman of God say last week that we need a touch. We all need another dose of humility. Type that down in your timeline. Can I, Pastor, Pastor and Lady Carter, you, can you agree with me on that? We, we need another dose of humility. You would have thought that now in the midst of a pandemic, we would all be on one accord. But guess what? We ain't learned the lesson. Lord Jesus. It ain't the world acting up, but it's the saints. Mama. The saints who are acting up. I've never seen the likes of so many saints that refuse to take the low end of the stick um, until we all learn to close our mouths, hit the back, backspace on our devices. We will continue to repeat the class. Even in this season of Lent, the enemy's attacks have hit differently. Can, can y'all agree with me? Can y'all agree with me on that? These, these attacks right through here have been personal uh, with the intent to destroy and distract your mind. Type that down in your timeline. Uh -huh. um, the devil uh -huh. is, can I say this? The devil is too loud. Um, if we humble ourselves, get back on our face in our prayer closets, then we can truly hear from heaven. Can I get a witness? Um, um, if we are his people, Amen. there shouldn't be a reason why we can't humble ourselves before we pray. You know, Pastor, 
um, I thought about that because, you know, oftentimes we just start praying and we never ask God to humble, humble my spirit before I start praying. Mm -hmm. I just go to praying and that thing hit me like, wow. damn, you're, you're not wow. doing this right. Humble yourself. Oftentimes we start praying without ever asking God to humble us. Humility means the state of being humble. Both of it and humble has their origin in the Latin words humilis, meaning low. Um, when I think about low, the foot of the cross comes to mind. Being at the foot of the cross simply means I surrender all. Yes, Lord. What do you yes, need Lord. to surrender in this season? Is it lying? Is it being messy? Is it, is it having a lack of faith? Is it your double-mindedness? Is it your unwillingness to humble yourself? Now, Pastor Carter, I, I, wanna, I want you to jump in right here because I want to hear from your perspective um, the, the piece of being humble. Um, and I can only imagine um, being a pastor in this season um, of being having to, to, to humble yourselves. And when you're used to going to a, a building every week and you're having to humble yourselves and come online every week to minister to people that you don't see and you're just going with the flow. So I want to hear from you what you feel. What, what do you think about being humble in this season? You said, you said something there, and it's very interesting. First of all, God bless you, Pastor Lowell James, North Fulton, Georgia. Uh, God bless you, brethren. Good to see you. Amen. Was there another? Okay. Amen. So there's there's something very interesting. Uh, you brought out uh, two very interesting uh, points amongst many there. Proverbs 9th chapter, 10th uh, verse talks about how the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Not only that, see, we like to stop there, but it goes on and says, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. When we understand uh, the work of Christ, it's not it's not showtime, you know, and uh, we were we were talking about this even last week. The work of of of, of Christ was very was rarely long, you know. Uh, the the works performed. There's only one dual work of Christ uh, recorded in Scripture where he prayed for y'all. Remember this? He prayed for the man. Uh, you know, he touched his eyes and uh, and he said, "What do you see?" He said, "I see," but you know, it still looked like trees. So he he touched him again. He gave him more instructions. That's the only representation uh, in scripture of a dual work from Christ. What am I getting at? Like his work, he didn't spend a whole lot of time wasting time or a whole lot of time trying to find um, reasons to stay up. Okay, watch, you know, the saints will tell you, you know, when you're a young preacher, you got a, um, you got three takes. You know, you take your, you, you take the podium, you take your text, and then you take your seat. <laughs> Or, or someone say, you, you take your text, you take flight, and then you take your seat, whichever way you want. But my point I'm getting at is that that humbleness is the very work that uh, even as uh, Christ spoke, even as he performed miracles, he didn't advertise. Even as uh, people asked him about uh, who he was and who he was, he gave direct reference to his father, which sent him. Uh, the scripture talks about as we let our light shine, men will see our good works and give glory to the Father, which is in heaven. Amen. This is something that, uh, and this is a very um, loose medium that's being utilized by so many now, you know, um, where, uh, you know, the gospel, you know, the enemy has found a way to make a platform for those like those that used to be reserved for the only for the preacher right. if you think about it you look online everybody's doing their coach mm. this, coaching this and life yes. this and <laughs> you know uh you know let, let's let's have let's have some fruit inspection before we have uh, uh any coaching going on come on somebody right, right. but but the humbleness is important sure. because this is where some won't make it right. uh and then at the same time it will cause us to take inventory of why we doing stuff you know if if you know uh with with young preachers 
This I always, and this is why young preachers, you know, I don't want to say it this way, but you know, it, you got to be, you got to be called to be connected with authentic ministry because uh, when you, if you ever have to examine um, your motives, it's very easy. One of the ways I always do it is like if 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 a preacher ain't willing to clean the bathrooms, they they not willing to, to be on in, in, the, in the pulpit. You know, uh, you know, if they're not willing to humble themselves, if they're not willing to say, you know what, um, you know, because here's what's interesting. God will give you more messages cleaning the bathrooms or cleaning the church than he will sitting up somewhere looking marvelous and looking, looking sanctimonious. You know, you're going to get more messages working than you will uh, up in a pulpit because or whatever, you know, so so the humble factor, the humbleness factor is 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 a is a very quick litmus test why you know that that god has given me you know to try to keep me in check but also to make sure look if we're not about the work of our father that sent us what are we about you know uh because if to be honest with you if you if god's called you to preach you ain't got to wait for no pulpit there's corners on every block there Everywhere. are Everywhere. There, 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 there Everywhere. are street corners. There are park benches. Everywhere. There are, you know, you name yeah. it. The gospel to be declared. And there are people on your job. On your job. Come on here. And Come on here. Yeah, there are people on. There are people on your job. There are people, um, even in restaurants, even everywhere we go. There are people. Even on Zoom calls, there are people everywhere that are, are waiting and, and, and willing to hear from people who are living right. And that's key in this season. If you're not living right, there's there ain't but so much you can do if you ain't living right. Because I think one of you said it, your fruit will start bearing. And one of the first fruits of the spirit is love. If you cannot love, have a pure heart and love in this season, you will never be able to humble yourself. Humility, you know, one thing I've, I've understood in this season is that I don't want to be prideful of anything. I, the spirit of pride, I, I don't want it. I, I, I don't want it. And, and when I started looking at this text and looking at the scripture, um, I, I even had to ask the Lord to, 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 to forgive me because I'm saying, God, am I humble enough? You know, because, you know, we, we, we say, um, we started out in the season praying. We started out the season fasting. Everybody was on a fast in January. And now we made it to the Lent season and people are asking, well, what are you giving up for Lent? What are you doing for Lent? But the thing is, if we have given up all these things, I, one of the, one of the things that I want the Lord to do in the season for, for not just for me, for the people of God is to transform our minds so that we can do what is right and please in God's sight. Because uh, whether we realize or not, people don't preach hell or heaven or hell no more. They, they you know, they want to talk about, you know, get quick rich and, you know, you got, you get the car and you're doing all this. But honey, there's something called, we're going to scarcely make it in. And if we don't live right, heaven won't be our home. We're going, as, as my grandma said, you're going to the devil. So <laughs> if you live right, if if you live right, heaven belongs to you. And the songwriter says, if you pray right, heaven belongs to you. If you treat your neighbor right, heaven belongs to you. But that's the prerequisite, if. And it goes back to, if you humble yourselves and pray. Come on, come on. I, I, I'm trying not to, because I, I feel my preacher woman coming on. I'm trying just to stay in this, in this vein of, of, of trying to, I'm stay on this platform and, and help teach this, help teach this on tonight. But I know that if we do not follow the instructions, the basic instructions of this earth, we're not going to go to heaven. And, you know, and I think the thing, the thing that I understand is if we hold fast to the word, we will be saved. And I'm going, I'm going down the scriptures. If we faint not, we shall reap in due season. If we continue in the faith, we will be unreprovable before him. If we endure, we shall reign with him. If we add the Christian virtues, we shall never stumble. If we walk in the light, Christ's blood keeps us clean. 
if we abide in him and his words abide in you, if you ask anything, he will give it to you. For if they fall, here's the thing. There's a lot of people falling in this season, but who's going to be that one to lift them up? Come on here. There's a lot of people falling in this season, but who, who will be that one to humble themselves and say, I know what you did. I know what you're doing, but who's going to be the one to raise up that standard to say, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to help pray you through in this season. Amen. My goodness. Am I right, Pastor? Am I right? Am I right? God bless you. Good to see you, trustee. Amen. Sister Nikki, Gabby, and Grayson, God bless you. Good to see you. The question is, come on here, whinings. Folk that remember the whinings. Uh, yeah, she saints don't remember the whinings no more. I don't believe it's no same folk on this, on this Zoom tonight. Uh, I'm messing. <laughs> no, no, the question is, yes, yes, indeed. What, what, what will uh, the audit write? What will mm. uh, uh, the 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 uh, internal audit be? Amen. Uh, you know, and and as we and here is where where we turn the corner on this because uh, the the reason for the prerequisites is to be in order for God's promises. Yeah. Uh, you know, we we've been talking about this thing, and uh, because uh, it's gotten uh, very easy to see those that have grabbed hold of God's promises. You know, we, we just lost uh, Bishop Fred Price Sr. God bless him and his wonderful, uh, the, the, you know, he was, you know, and I even look at many of those that, that, um, that had some of the very large ministries before mega churches were even a thing. Um, but it's gotten very easy to want to try to manufacture um, seasoning and mm. manufacture uh, what it takes to build a house. Come on here, right, somebody. Right, right. But but the the problem is is the 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 height of the of the dwelling is determined on the basement, the foundation in the basement, mm. uh, the humble work that that begins anything. You know, and there's been, you know, there, there have been those that whether it's ministry related, whether it's work related, you've seen them. They have literally willingly walked away from opportunities because they couldn't humble themselves. Yeah. Uh, you know, instead of saying, you know what, uh, you know, what? I was wrong. Uh, they want to fall out. Uh, you know, they want to be angry and they want to walk out and, and, and literally miss an opportunity that they will spend years trying to recoup from and then try to use some halfway jacked up spiritual talk about where God and your season and uh, what God has for you. And uh, no, no, no. Uh, what God has for us uh, is being delayed because of a lack of humbleness. Okay. If my people call by my name, we've been talking about this for weeks, y'all. This is God's people this scripture is referencing. This isn't sinners, you know. This isn't somebody that don't know. This is those that have heard the word. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so you have to realize you are challenged right now because you are on and you are hearing the word. Yeah. So, so sorry, you can't you can't get out of it now. Right. <laughs> we got and you. Know, you, we got and you, you know, and you said something. You said something so so profound, um, Pastor, um, where um, people don't. I think humility. Um, People have lost track of humility because we, we instead of humbling ourselves and asking for forgiveness, we want to shout over it. Watch out. We, we've learned, I've heard so many people, even, even on you know virtual church, well, I'm going to let my feet testify, but no, let your mouth testify and say, I'm sorry for what I did. Watch out. Watch out. And I think that's the thing in this season that, you know, even... I said something earlier about um, not, um, we're still in the test and we're still in, we're taking the same class. We're still in a pandemic, but we have not learned the lesson. And there has been a lesson that we were supposed to learn in 2020 that we did not learn. And we, that's the reason why many, that's the reason why we are still in this pandemic. And, and honestly, if I could be very honest with you, I don't believe that we're going to go back to the church until we learn that lesson. 
not. We're not going to, because guess what? If we're still doing the same stuff we were doing in 2020 that we're doing in 2021, we're not ready to go back to church. So you can have all the church services and you can do all of what you want, but until you go back and humble yourself, until you go back and do the first work and ask God to forgive you. Come on here. Come on here. That's it. Until we learn how to ask for forgiveness and stop putting, um, we, 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 we do this thing now on social media where we, we throw out scriptures and we throw out all of these quotes of, oh, um, um, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, but you did not go back and get it right with the person that you offended. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. But we want to preach and we want to sing and we want to shout, but we want to go back and get it right. But you got to go back and get it right before you before you even can go for. Because if we go back to the scripture, um, second current second Chronicles seven. Second Chronicles 7, if we go back to that scripture and it says, and it says, um, let me get to it. Um, uh, if my people, which are called by my name, the latter part is once you pray and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. On, See, we still have some wicked ways we ain't got rid of. On, We're still walking in, in, um, in unforgiveness. We're still walking in pettiness. <laughs> Where are we going to grow up from the petty, from the petty farm? We're, we're still petty. We're still doing things that we were doing when we were in grade school. That's not Christ-like. That's not godly. When, when are we going to mature in the things of God? And that's key. Yeah. We have to grow up. That means we have to study the word. If we're not living the word, why, why, why are we calling ourselves Christian if we're not living the word? I, I, help, help, help me understand that, Pastor. I mean, you, 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 you smart, as I always say to my, my own husband. You real smart. So tell me, why is it that as Christians, we won't mature and get it right? We rather just waddle. We rather just say, oh, I, I'm good. I'm good. Tell me, tell, tell, help, help us on, on Facebook land, um, Pastor Carter. Help us. Because we lack faith. We lack faith. We believe that, you know, um, God has God has given his the people of God so much. Let's let, let's just be clear. Mm -hmm. We have more now and probably one of the most prosperous generations. Oh God. Oh gosh. That has walked the face of the earth. And we only measure that by the simple fact of the materialistic things that we have right now. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have bigger buildings than we've probably ever had in time. If mm -hmm. I, you know, we, we've had bigger buildings, we've had more assets, you know, as far as the Christian uh, faith, we've had more given to us by God than we've ever had and acquired, okay? And when we acquired those things, the question is, are we still praying before, are we still having the same faith we had before we had it mm. than we do now? Mm. So now that we have all the things that we we want it and we call for the houses, the cars and things of that nature. Where is our faith now? Because mm. see, the world is looking at us. They're trying to say, what are we going to do if we don't have a building? Well, let's, let's see about Jesus. Jesus didn't have no building. Watch out. Okay. Jesus didn't have no building. He had 12 disciples. Yeah. And all yeah. he had was a purpose and the word. That's it. Okay? That's, that's what it. he had. And that's what, what put it forward. But honestly, the reason why a lot of us don't turn, uh, uh, you know, we, we feel like, well, the new generation, we live in grace and mercy. Yeah. Yeah. So what can I do? Yeah. What can I, uh, we live in grace and mercy. We just cover it. And, and so I don't have to repent. I don't have to tell anybody I'm sorry. As long as I talk to God, we're okay. But we, we, we do them in a time of just grace and mercy. So I can do whatever I want to do. I can cuss and say the scripture all in the same word. Lord have mercy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's all in the same word. And so we're teaching another generation mm -hmm. that it's okay. And that it's okay. You, you don't have to have any standards, but we still want the requirements and all the blessings of God yeah. that yeah. come with the New Testament. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to do the prerequisites of, of living right. We don't want the prerequisites of it. And, and, and you said something so key that we are teaching a generation that it's okay to overlook things. 
that's 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 not that's not right. That's not that's not how we as Christians are supposed to be. And when I think about Jesus and and, and the twelve disciples, um, and when it all came down, he was down to how many? When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he got down to how many? <laughs> <laughs> When he got down, when it was time for him, when it at that humbling uh, right. encounter, he got down to how many? And and this is where we are, and this is the reason why so many people are missing the mark because we're so we're so caught up in the 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 uh, oh I got this and I got that, but at mm -hmm. the end of the day, are you willing to humble yourself? Are you willing to, to go to that foot, go to that lowest of the lowest and, and ask God, I'm, 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 I can't do it without you. I can't, I can't live. I can't breathe. I can't, I cannot do this assignment unless you humble me, humble, humble. And, you know, people may say, well, you know, you just, you just keep saying, no, I'm saying this because it needs to get embedded in our spirit as a, as a, as a teacher, um, one of the things I, I do every single day, I go over the rules. And people say, why do you go over the rules every single day? Well, you know why I go over those rules? Because those four simple rules, just four simple rules that these children have to follow every single day. But do you think they follow those rules every day? No. That's the reason why we as Christians have to pick up the word of God and read the word every single day and get it embedded in our spirit. And the more I embed those rules, the better it gets. Now, are, is it perfect? No, but the more we embed the word of God on the inside of us, the better we will be. The more we humble ourselves, the better we, we will become as Christians. Think about it. We are, we are in, let's see, we are probably in day, what? 50 something in this year and look at all that has happened in the first we didn't even made it to 100 days in, in this on. year we didn't even made it to a, and we already we still we are still dealing with the things that if we would have just humbled ourselves back in 2020 we wouldn't be where we are so i i admonish every person that is listening to me under under the sound of my voice humble yourself humble if you, if you are God's people, you should have a, a, a reason not to humble. That's the key. If you are God's people, come on, come on. If you are God's people, you should have a reason or, 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 or an excuse to not humble yourself in this season. My goodness. Yes. 66 to 18. Because I, I hear somebody, I'm messing with your spirit. I hear somebody say, where, where is that in the Bible? <laughs> well, no, no, I, you know, they did me wrong. No, Psalm 66 and 18. If I regard enmity in, in my heart, mm -hmm. the Lord will not hear me. You can't pray this thing away. Wow. You got to humble. We got to humble ourselves yeah. first. Amen. Amen. We, we have first. got to, to turn uh, from what the enemy has made convenient. That's it. What is, what is, That's it. You know, because uh, it's so easy to retreat. It's so easy to 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 kind of be in our own little 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 circle and our own little uh, false reality. Uh, I was laughing at this the other day. Uh -oh. <laughs> it is literally possible to operate in another in another dimension. Oh, yeah. You know, we we laugh about that and, and and you know there's there's conversations and you know when you talk about you know quantum physics and string theory and all of these kind of different things where there might be you know the potential for alternate universes i want you to know it is because right now uh you can literally go about your day insulated from okay the very reality that 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 you might come in contact with god bless you uh reverend emmanuel williams sister tanya simmons god bless you good to see you all all the way from okinawa japan god bless you we gave you a shout out earlier we knew you were there but <laughs> but what but it's it's it's, a, it's possible to live in your own false reality yeah absolutely god is trying to get us to understand he says in his word matthew 16 i believe it is no no matthew 21 where he talks about you know my house is to be called a house of prayer, but you mm -hmm. made it 
a den of robbers. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why we're not going back to church mm -hmm. because there's too many robbers up in there. Watch out. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right. Yeah, you know, now, 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 you say, well, you always throwing rocks at the establishment. Well, no, we, we, we are part of the establishment. Yes. So, so we, we, we know, we so the bottom line is, is, you know, we got, we got to know what not to do so we can do it right this time around. Right, Amen. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. God doesn't want his people Nobody mistreated and mishandled. Games played with and, you know, all manner of, uh, you know, the, 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 the church in many instances has been turned into a country club. Mm -hmm. Oh, so wow. Going on that don't have nothing to do with soul winning. Don't have nothing to do with commission. with great commission work. Right. Uh, that's a country club. Praise God for it. Uh, yeah. Praise God for what we can collectively come together and do. Uh, but but there was a time in which God found displeasure with the collective work of man. Right. He was pleased at the work of Nehemiah, but he was displeased at the work at Babel. Right. And and we've got to realize. Come on, where, where we at? Where we yeah. at? You know, God is telling us right now, I, I want to, I've been reaching out. I've been sharing yes. on a weekly basis to get your attention, beloved, yes. to get your attention, to get, to get you to understand that even when you're getting comfortable with preparing for now, right. that is already passed. Yes. And where I am now is even beyond that. Yeah. God wants us to understand this. Uh, he says in his word that the last shall be first. And the first shall be last. Yeah. What God is saying and what he is doing right now, beloved, is making it the opportunity for those that have been overlooked and left behind. Mm -hmm. I see you. I hear you with us tonight. Those that have not uh, been given the opportunity. Those that have not been uh, the most popular one always asked to do certain things. Right. Those that have maybe uh, been due but not received. God is letting us know that I will turn the heavens upside down. <laughs> I'm already turning the world upside down. Mm -hmm. And if, if we can be checking the weather on Mars, uh, you can realize that I have worlds without end. That's it. The Lord That's is it. declaring that I'm making the last first. All right. Yeah. The first that the parable of uh, the workers that's what I like about this passage in Matthew 16. It's a, I'm trying to think. Is it Matthew? It's Matthew. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me see. Matthew, where is that at? Because I want to make sure I get it. Because we're doing Bible study even while we're talking. Um, where is that? Jarvis Terry. Elder Terry. God bless you, brother. Good to see you. Brother Jason Kirkpatrick. Sister Kirkpatrick. Mother, Mother Yvonne and Bishop, God bless you. Good to see you all. Where is that passage, y'all? Oh, um, yeah, Matthew 20. Matthew 20 and 16. This is the parable of the workers. Y'all know this one, where there are some that worked harder and longer, but they had a problem when those that worked a, a shorter amount of time potentially got the same amount of pay. Right. Christ's declaration, uh, these are the words of Christ in this parable. He is declaring that even those that have tried to stack up and plan up and get themselves uh, a leg up, God is letting us know that even that which we are put our trust in, if it's not God, I'm making the last first. That's and true. I'm making the first last. This is why we're sharing tonight, why we've even been covering this, uh, turning and shining a light on what we've become comfortable with doing, right. you know, because because here's where where uh, any uh, area of progress takes place. Uh, you can't get stuck in assessing the problem, but you can't make progress ignoring the problem either. Amen. Right, right. Uh, so, but we can't get stuck there mm -hmm. either. But we've got to make assessment and move forward according to what the Lord said. He's telling somebody today, you feeling last. But I want you to know you're being made for here. You want to, you want an example. I was just out talking to my neighbors that, you know, our, our elderly saints in the neighborhood, you know, they, they can't run a thousand yard dash anymore. They're not going to jump in their car and do 80 on the highway. Uh, they're, they're in many instances uh, going to not be the first uh, to, to anything. 
Now, 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 they love they love to get up and have di have dinner early, so they might be early first to dinner. Lord have mercy, I'm messing with somebody's spirit. Boy, the, boy, the seniors, boy, they had dinner at four thirty. My goodness. <laughs> but what God is saying, uh, even the 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 tortoise is getting an opportunity to make it past the the, the jackrabbit. Amen. Wh whatever seems like uh, that there is so much stacked against you. So many opportunities uh, that you can't take part in. Uh, Jesus was talking, oh, oh I'm sorry, uh, when, when, when the, the, the man at the pool of Bethesda was talking to the disciples, um, he talked about the fact that there were so many others faster than him. But the thing was, is he was never even asked about other people. He was asked about his condition and his faith. Watch out. Y'all talked about that earlier. We've got to realize on this evening, saints, as we're talking about what God is saying now, he's not asking us about what others are doing. He's not asking us about who got over and mm -hmm. who had the best of you uh, in 1975. Right. He's not concerned about what we are still reliving uh, in this day and age. Uh, still reliving stuff that God yeah. is trying to let us know, look, I am ready to make you whole. Yeah. I'm ready to make, not only make you whole, but mm -hmm. first, Lord have mercy. Yeah. My God, uh, he's trying to make you first if we'll allow him to. Yeah. Uh, the enemy wants to keep our attention. If you've ever uh, been on the phone trying to watch TV, uh, you're going to miss some stuff on TV because the phone's got your attention. Right. Or you might uh, miss something on the phone because mm -hmm. the TV got your attention. The enemy is that constant mm -hmm. distraction that is trying to get us distracted from the very promises of God. Right. He will make it seem uh, that the best lie is one wrapped in a little bit of truth. Okay. Uh, so the enemy is constantly <laughs> trying to make us feel uh, as if mm -hmm. there is no hope. Amen. Beloved, we are not those that operate as those with no hope. Reverend Roosevelt brought this up earlier. If you be not weary and well-doing, Understand you're going to reap in due season if you faint not. Come on, somebody need to put that in the in the comments right there. Faint not. Regina mm -hmm. Deese, God mm -hmm. bless you. Good to see you, sister. Tell Brother Reggie we said, hey, that's sister and Brother Reggie Allison. God bless you. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. You know Reggie Allison. Good to, good oh, to see wow. you. Praise God for Regina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, so we just, you know, I always mess with Brother Reggie. I thank God, you know, he made one good decision, Reverend Roseboro. Oh, you know, he gave, he made Jesus his choice. Uh, but when he put that red on, uh, I, I don't know if God was pleased with that. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. I'm always messing with But praise God for you. Reggie just had a birthday not too long ago. I believe he did. Well, ha happy birthday, brother. I'm trying to remember if that. Okay. All right. Well, any, anyway, God bless you. Good to see you all uh, with us. But we want to make sure that our time is well spent. Scripture talks about redeeming the time. And, and uh, even, even as uh, mm -hmm. you know, we face challenges, even as we face uh, some of the things that we are recognizing as, you know what, God, yeah, you wasn't in that. that that's not your plan. That's not your will. Uh, it can get very easy mm -hmm. to on instant replay. Right. It can get very easy. God's trying to let us know tonight that we can't allow ourselves to get weary in well-doing. The weariness comes from not mm -hmm. feeling that we've received that which we feel we're due for the work we've done. Amen. But that scripture says we'll reap in due season if we mm -hmm. pay. God is moving things swiftly. We're already almost in March. We were just talking about what was going to happen in November. Yeah. Just talking about what was going to happen for the new year. You know, uh, wondering whether or not you can make it 21 days on the Daniel fast. Uh, <laughs> wanting to know whether or not, no, God is moving swiftly. And as we take time to recognize, as we take time to give God honor first, what's on the throne of our lives? Here is the question of the evening. What's on the throne of our lives? Whatever we're rushing past prayer to do, whatever we're rushing past uh, church, because church is too long, but we're sitting watching you know, a four-hour soccer game, 
and a 12-hour Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, we'll go sit and watch, uh, you know, the whole uh, fifth season of Basketball Wives. Uh, I'm messing with somebody's spirit. Yes, I am. Yeah, I know I'm messing with your spirit. Yeah, and, uh, uh, you know, but, but these things won't, we don't mark time with those things. But with the things of God, we are constantly marking time. Whatever it is that we're rushing past time with God to do is what's on the throne. God is saying, I want to be on the throne. Amen. Yeah. God is telling us, he's saying, look, I, I want you to seek me first. Yes. And his righteousness and all other things are going to be added. Mm-hmm. Not the other added. one. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. we're seeking mm-hmm. so much other stuff. Mm-hmm. We're even trying to make and manufacture blessings. All right. Take yeah. Your- Taking, taking less than what God would have for us and, and trying to make, oh, you know, ready to post what God blessed me with. No, no, mm, no. Mm. I think, wait a minute, you, you might not want to put that on God, okay? Because right. God can do better than that, yeah. all right? Come on, man. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. God can do yeah. better than that. Yes, yes indeed. indeed. Yeah, I might have been in a hurry and I got to just getting something to get it. No, but God can do better. God wants us to put him first. Yes. God wants us not only to put him first, God bless you. Patrick Grace, God bless you. Good to see you. We thank you for joining us tonight. God wants us to take a moment and consider our ways. And just like Rev said, you know, Re- Reverend Roseburg said this, this, this isn't a one-time thing. Right. We're stating the mandate, the orders, yes. the rules mm-hmm. constantly. Bible says, if you let the word dwell richly in it, your word have I uh, put uh, hid in my heart that I might not what sin against you. When you lose your deep, come on now, you got your deep code, mm-hmm. you didn't load Google Maps mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then you started getting ready to go somewhere mm-hmm. and realized you did not have the way to go. We've got to grab God's mm-hmm. word. Yes. And you know, and, you know, it's not about, you know, yeah, we know we're wonderful, but but that GPS really does help. Yes. And here's what's interesting. It helps us get places faster. We might make it, it on does. our own of uh, mm-hmm. trying to feel our way around in the dark, mm-hmm. but the GPS is ready to help and get us there yes. faster. It's mm-hmm. ready to but we have to go ahead, But go we ahead. have to be humble. But we have to be humble. We have to be, we have to be humble enough to receive what the GPS is telling Woo! us. Watch out, yes, watch, yes, out. Yes, yes, watch out, watch yes. out. I'm telling you. I'm th- when, have, when have we ever argued with the GPS? <laughs> I, never, <laughs> never. We never argue with the GPS, but we are arguing with God. I was Lord just about to say that. We are arguing with God. Yes. We will humble ourselves enough to say, God, I surrender all. Right. But we'll, oh, we'll go there. along with the GPS. That we ne- GPS ain't never died on the cross for me. <laughs> right, right, right. And, That's true. and, and I, I don't know about some of y'all that, that, that got in trouble with Google Maps a couple years ago when they had their when they had their maps off, folk was getting driven into the to, to the side of a riverbed somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but we didn't yeah. question it. We didn't, we didn't oh, question you know, it. It we says go this way, but but yeah. we've got to, here here is where uh man's finite ability uh is, is gonna uh be to our benefit to recognize yeah. God, we yeah. trust you. Yes. Yeah, God, we trust you. Yeah. God, we understand that yeah. your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Right. Yeah, yeah. But we got to admit to our weakness. That's it. That's it. You know, you've been there. You, you maybe even been there. Yes. And realize, you know what? If I just spoke up, mm-hmm. somebody said, oh "My goodness, I didn't even know they were going through that. Right. I had this, mm-hmm. this, and this that would have solved that problem." Mm-hmm. I've had. If you, mm-hmm. when we give, it shall be given. Good measure, press mm-hmm. down, mm-hmm. and running over. Mm-hmm. Now, men. <laughs> our bosom come on we talk about this but we got to keep rehashing it yeah. because we keep the enemy is trying to get us to cancel the formula mm. i don't mm. do, i don't i don't i don't do folk well you don't you're missing your blessing yeah well no no i don't i don't mess i stay to myself and you know I, it's just me and god god is telling you no it's not just you and me <laughs> no. me you and my people that i'm trying to send your way yeah Mm-hmm. Door for it is trying to trying to bring a miracle you praying for. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. Humble, as we humble ourselves. Yeah. As we're humbling ourselves even right now, we're asking God. Somebody that's joining us for the first time tonight, 
somebody that's that's hearing a conversation uh that is five grade levels above where you are right now mm -hmm. somebody that will say you know what uh you know i know because this is the way we used to do it you know in the sanctified church you just get in and and figure out what's going on you know uh, or you know you just try to you know mimic what you see going on until you figure it out yeah. god is saying look you don't have to be that you don't have to deal with that tonight if you would be honest, the conversation of Second Chronicles 7 is not for you. Mm. When you, if you would be honest with yourself and say, you know what? Um, he's referencing his people, he's referencing those that are called by his name. And you know, you might have to take inventory tonight and say, you know what? Uh, I can't say I'm of one uh that is called by his name. Well, how do you know that? Because we like to get vague and mystical when it comes to God. Mm. If you don't read his word, mm. that means you don't hear from him. Right. Mm -mm. If you don't spend time in prayer, that means you don't talk to him. Mm. If you're not mm. amongst those uh, that are part of his ordained body, that mm. means you have no conversation or connection with his family. Right. That mm -hmm. means that you're not a part of the household of faith. Mm -hmm. all this you know god knows my heart and you know you know i'm a child of god well we got to recognize something if someone claimed to know you yes. that yes. doesn't know you you at some point would have to make reckon that you know what i i know you saying this but i, I really don't know who you are i, I know mm -hmm. you have my front door talking you know some some general stuff that's kind of in the general vague vicinity of what i you know where i'm at but but I, I don't know you. God is challenging us tonight to stop being vague and mystical with stuff. You can't, if you don't spend time with someone, you can't say that you love them. They will call you into account of your words. That's right. You love me, you never spend time with me. You never invest in me. You never uh, are around uh, with anything uh, that is important to me. God is saying, you know what? As we take audit, as we humble ourselves, because see, humbling ourselves will allow us to take inventory. Yes. The proud individual can't take inventory. It will always be somebody else's problem. It, you'll always be blaming somebody else. It'll always be off-putting. But as we humble ourselves, God is saying, look, this is the fastest way to the way that I'm hastening the day on your behalf right now. The fastest way is to humble yourself first. God, as we pray tonight, we're asking that you would give us the ability to humble ourselves. Give us the ability to not only humble ourselves, but seek your face. Not your hand and just what we can get from you, God, but your, your true will for our lives. God, we're praying tonight for somebody that doesn't know you in the pardon of their sins. God, we're praying tonight, if there be one, cause the Holy Spirit to knock on the door of their heart tonight. God, your standard is what causes us to realize that we don't have it all together. So Holy Spirit, knock on the hearts of those that need you tonight. Cause them to pray this prayer. God, I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart that you died for my sins. Save me right now. I believe not only that you died for my sins, but you rose with all power in your hands. And I believe according to your word that I'm saved. If you prayed that prayer tonight, you are amongst the household of faith now. If you prayed that prayer, Romans says that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's a guarantee. Now you are amongst the household of faith to be able to grab hold of the very promises of God. Amen, amen. Our desire tonight is that we would seek God daily. We seek employment. Mm. We seek various things that we enjoy daily. We seek food daily. God, we desire that you be our daily bread, that we seek you daily. Now, if you prayed that prayer tonight, you need to get in contact with Church One Charlotte 
Reach us out in our direct message via email, via uh, phone, whichever way you know how to get in contact uh, because there's a million different ways to get in contact with us. Get in contact with KBR Ministries that you might be able to begin the process of discipleship. This is important because no one declaring to be good at anything doesn't spend time doing it, doesn't spend time That's amongst right. others making it happen. That's why uh, the, the importance of God's congregation is. You're turned off by church. That's why church is turned off now. <laughs> but the church and God's congregation is mm -hmm. too yes. The Bible talks about forsaking not the assembly uh, because the assembly comes together to promote good work. <laughs> You got the enemy promoting negative work all day. Mm -hmm. You got the enemy promoting mm -hmm. all manner of ungodliness all day in your ear. You got to get amongst those that are declaring the good news. You got to hear what KBR Ministries is sharing. You need to follow and get in contact with her. You need to follow Church One Charlotte. And as opportunities present themselves, you got to come from behind that, that phone. Yeah. You got to come up from behind that computer and make an effort to seek out the very congregation is important. It's necessary. You will never see a physical trainer zooming with, with, his, with his clients. They got to get together at some point. They are even enduring the potential of pandemic issues to make sure they get together to do what's necessary. If we got to take 50 tests mm -hmm. and, and make sure we take 10 vaccinations, we're going to do it because we've got to get together because it's not going to happen virtually only. Mm -hmm. So we declare today that mm -hmm. God is hastening the day for those that are of the household of faith. Minister Lexi Evans, God bless you. God bless you, junior missionary uh, Lamaya. God bless you. We see you. Amen. We looking, I was looking at uh, the junior mother's board pictures a couple weeks ago on Facebook. Boy, we got some sanctified junior mothers. Oh, they 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 know how to pray, and they don't be wearing pants in the church like the women for our oh, message. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh, they sanctified. Yes, they are. Oh, y'all got to go back and find that. <laughs> y'all need to go back on Church One Charlotte's page. Go find the junior church mothers praying in a circle. They sanctified y'all. <laughs> yes, they are. Amen. But we are just we. You know, we always carrying on. But we just thank God for uh, all of you that have joined us on this evening. We want to thank God for those uh, that are making a decision to seek God first. Uh, we tried everything else. Come on. And what's interesting to me, all this newfangled stuff is nothing but God's plan uh, wrapped in some other little fancy package. Amen. Unbelievers are standing on God's word and bent mm -hmm. because he declared that he's going to rain on the just and unjust. Just, he's he's going to allow the sun to shine. If you, you mm -hmm. take, take, take uh, gravity at its word, it, you, you're going to benefit from it, okay? <laughs> God's, God's laws are going to benefit. You've got to realize something, though. But God's people are going to be able to lay hold to those promises, Amen. to declare them and demand them. Mm -hmm. Not just by chance happen upon them, but declare them. There is the difference. First lady, come on, share with us just a little bit as we're wrapping up. And I want mm -hmm. even uh, Minister Kim to, to close with us also and even close us in prayer. But go ahead and share with us just a little bit as we're wrapping up. Y'all talk too much. I, I ain't got a word in the edgewise all night. <laughs> all night. Oh, well, Pastor, you know, thank you so much. Um, but uh, from what I've learned on tonight is just, you know, humility, um, being able to, uh, for us to humble ourselves. Um, and to understand the importance of that. Um, a lot of times we don't look into that word itself, understanding what humility really is. And that also with humility comes so much greater wisdom. Wow. Um, because it, it also, mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. you know, and when I look at um, humility and I look at patience, I begin to look at Job. And I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start. Watch I'm out. not going to start. But I'm just going to say. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> you go with the light. Um, oh. But it begins for you to understand that whatever you leave behind, it's meant to be left behind so that you can move forward to something greater. Oh, and no. so I think mm -hmm. that's time for mm -hmm. you 
talking about mindset. We have this thing in our mindset that we're missing out on something from the past because we can't move mm -hmm. forward to the things that God has for us. And so a lot of times it's the mindset that's got us all caught up. Mm -hmm. God word has already told us mm -hmm. what we're going to do as you already began talking about and saying that, that the Bible is the beginning instructions before leaving earth. Come on so here. therefore, if it's the beginning instructions before leaving yeah. earth, we need to get ourselves in order. Come on here. And so that God has given us this time. Everything that we're seeing right now in this pandemic, everything that we're seeing right now and changes that we've never seen before, God is allowing, especially us Christians, to be hidden right now so that we be, can begin to understand and he can begin to pour that's right so we had the necessary tools to take the next generation on because that's what it's all about how 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 can we begin mm -hmm. to teach mm -hmm. the next generation mm -hmm. amen how can we begin to teach the next generation if we ourselves are not being poured in by god not studying his word not that's understanding right. his word Watch not out. pouring it out unto our youth you know because our youth are and when i when i begin to think about it if you think about it the Catholic Church never has to worry about money. The Muslim nation never, never, never. I'm, I'm just going to never in layman's terms. When you look at certain institutions and when it comes to religious stuff, they never have to worry about money. You want to know why? Because they have their schools in place. They have everything in place so that the next generation can carry on the work that's necessary Watch out. for it to begin to live and not die wow so look look, look i'm not even gonna but we was we was trying to end we was trying to end off on this say, say so, that. She, 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 she was setting up an offering no, no, right no, no, there no, no, no. oh no, no, my no, gosh no, she was no, setting no, up no. an offering no 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 look oh, I, I, i'm done i'm goodness. done i'm done i'm done but the but hundred dollar line <laughs> we're gonna put the hundred dollar line here but no but no as, as <laughs> yes. yes those that have a desire to give right you can give church one charlotte mm -hmm. KBR Ministries, what's your cash app, Pastor Kim? Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, um, I got, I'll, I'll put it in there for him. I, um, hmm. You better come give your offer. Pastor, you put me on the spot. You, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't do this. I, do, but the dollar sign KBR Ministry. Say it one more time. She's going to put it in the comments. KBR Ministry. Okay. Dollar sign KBR Ministry. Ministry. Amen. Amen. And the, the church, the junior church mothers came with their offering. You better give your, you better give your offering, baby. Go ahead with your bad self. <laughs> say hey, say hey. Oh. <laughs> All right. Where, where the deacons at? Because, you know, y'all can't get the preacher the money. They'll be saying the preacher stole the money. <laughs> Lord have mercy with it. With the, uh, yeah. All right. There we go. Praise God. <laughs> you know, you got to hold that money up. So somebody come get it. You got to hold it up. So somebody you know. So they can't say that they done stole it, done, done took, took the money. Lord have mercy. Amen. But, um, but no, nevertheless, like I said, we thank God for everyone's time with us on tonight. We thank God for Pastor Kim Roseborough. Amen. Thank God for, for, for the right Reverend Minister of Music, uh, Charles Roseborough. I want y'all to make sure if y'all weren't on at the beginning, uh, Charles Roseboro is going to be starting some anointed, anointed communion wafers. You know, he, he got the gift, y'all. He got the gift. And if you want to have a saved communion, you need to call, you need to call uh, uh, bro brother Charles Roseboro and tell him, where are my anointed communion wafers? They're going to be unleavened. <laughs> they're gonna be they're gonna be in line with the word yes they are praise his name Ooh, i feel the holy ghost right there good god almighty but nevertheless we thank, we, we thank god for you all was there anything else amen cash tag kbr ministry now it's with a y right. at the end right not ies right yes all right okay. so not ministry why mm -hmm. uh you know that's that's gonna be if you if you mess up and give it to KBR Ministries, that's going to be going to her, her Phantom Rolls Royce uh, uh, fund. No, you want to encourage a Reverend Roseboro uh, to, and give to the right cash app so that she will continue doing God's work. Yes, indeed. 
Praise his name. <laughs> Amen. But we just thank God. All right, y'all got it. Good. Yeah. So I was yeah. giving everyone time. See, once again, trying to rush. <laughs> when the offering comes, everybody want to rush. Oh, watch out. No, but no, we're giving you an opportunity. <laughs> Why? Because, you know, and, and, and we are we are those that don't play games. Minister, Reverend, Reverend Kim know about this. You know, y'all know church. Y'all know we don't play games when it comes to giving. Right. But we would be remiss to allow the enemy to continue to fool you and keep you in the state that you're in. Right. As you give and as you sow in the mm -hmm. good ground, God is required to bless you. Mm -hmm. We're not talking what we think. We're talking what we know. We don't play what these church know. games. We're not busy mm -hmm. doing church for employment. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm messing with somebody. I don't That's think right. you, you should be able to be, be able to sustain mm -hmm. yourself. Yes. But what we're trying to get you to understand is that somebody is in a loop. And this time last year, you was in the same spot. Mm -hmm. You were declaring what was going to be different. And you're in that same spot. I want to challenge you to start giving and sowing into good ground. You can go with us mm. as we feed the homeless. You can go with us as we visit the sick and afflicted, as we go and we don't go empty handed. Mm. So what I'm getting, as we provide shelter, come on somebody, amen. Church One Charlotte is not, is, is not the United Way, but we might mess around and, and provide more shelter some months than even the United Way does. I'm messing with them, yes indeed. Amen, praise God, amen. Them folk in that tent city, that guess who they calling? They not they not calling them them folk that that be hitting hitting you up to make your end of the year tax deductible contribution. No, they calling ministries that's really making it happen and not taking them through a whole bunch of changes just to get shelter. So praise God, Amen. I you know I'm about to mess up and get upset, but no, mm -hmm. we give you an opportunity so into good ground because God is is guaranteed. He is required to return it, and you got to be open to receive it from where it comes from. That's where we messing up a lot of times. As men try to give back to us, because it don't look like we think it's supposed to look, we start getting uptight about, no, we got to be ready to receive it. Amen? Yeah. Amen. As we're closing tonight, <laughs> I'm going to ask Reverend Roseboro to close us in prayer. I'm trying to make sure I didn't lose her. Reverend, you still there? I want to make sure her connection didn't, didn't get... Get weak. There you go. All right. I want to make sure we didn't lose you, Rev. Uh, you know, uh, I know uh what it, uh was it is it uh blackish about to come on, so Rev was trying to jump off TV. Nah. <laughs> Y'all know I'm messing with no, no, uh, you know, you know, saints to be like, uh, you know, we, you know, you can't do that. You can't do this uh, in virtual church. No, no, <laughs> no, this this how they do it in virtual church. They put their they turn the camera off and they put their picture up, you know. <laughs> But as we're closing, I want to ask Reverend, Reverend Roseboro to have final words and to close us in prayer. Give us our benediction for tonight. Go ahead, Rev. Well, first of all, let me let me both let me say thank you to you and um, Lady um, Carter for allowing me the opportunity to just even talk and expound on the word on tonight. Um, it was um, life changing for me. Um, and I'm grateful. I'm always humbled to always serve a ministry with you guys because uh, I'm excited what the Lord is doing for the both of you. Um, and and before I, I before I'm gonna do my my assignment as far as praying. So let me pray. Father, we thank you for um, this opportunity on tonight to to serve the people of God. God, I thank you that, first of all, that you would uh, forgive me of all of my sins. God, blot out every one of, our, uh, every one of my iniquity, iniquities and create within me a clean heart and renew the right spirit. God, God, today, God, tonight, I humble myself unto you, God. God, I pray, God, that the people that are, are listening under the sound of my voice, God, that you would allow them, oh God, I got to search their hearts, oh God. Let them know, God, that you are, are, are with them, oh God. Help them to know, God, even um, in these first few weeks of this year, God, that you have never left them, nor have you forsaken them, God. Help them to know, God, that if they will uh, humble themselves and, and pray, God, and seek your face, God, that you will, uh, will bless them indeed, God, that you would uh, enlarge their territory, God, that you, oh God, will uh, make ways out of no ways, oh God, that you, oh God, uh, will do a 
great work within them, oh God. And I thank you for the ministry of Church Tomorrow in Charlotte, God. I thank you for Pastor and Lady Shonda Carter, God, that you will continue, God, to uh, encourage their hearts, God, continue to encourage their minds, oh God, continue to, to bless them indeed, God, continue to bless their family, oh God. I thank you, God, that that their, their finances, oh God, will be blessed, God, that their ministry will be blessed, God, that that even, God, that even in, in, a, in a pandemic, God, that you're still blessing them, oh God. I thank you for um, the, the evangelism work that they do that, that no one really knows about, but God, I thank you, God, for blessing them, oh God, to do greater works, God, for the people, God, that are less fortunate, oh God. And God, I thank you even now, God, that for every person, God, that has a need, God, that you will meet their needs, oh God, that if, if it's healing, God, that you will heal their bodies. God, if it's, um, if it's, if, if it's, if it's uh, a way to be made, God, that you're going to make a way out of no way, oh God, that you are going to turn the things around in their favor, oh God. And God, as we leave off of this platform on tonight, God, but never from your presence, God, keep us in your care and we will forever give your name the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We thank God. God bless you, Brother Melvin Cavines. God bless you. I apologize if I'm saying Cavines. God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. We just thank God for Reverend Kim Roseboro, KBR Ministries, and the International House of Praise. Amen. Right? That's that's the new ministry. We done made the new name tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna hand clap in that. Yes, I do. Good God Almighty. I can see it. And now, now look, now, if you would like to have KBR Ministries come. To your church, if you don't have a beat, if you don't have a ham, and she's not coming now, cause you you can't you can't have no you know you can't have that you know the, that little uh that little dusty piano in the corner. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Woo, Lord have mercy. No, no, no. That just means she had to bring her ministry team. Only you, only you, Pastor Carter, can do this. Only you, <laughs> only you. <laughs> With the dusty upright piano in the corner, <laughs> but then little magic, little magic to play the drums, and and, and they brought the new equipment, but they still got the dusty piano in the corner. Amen. No, no, no. Oh that just means that means Reverend Roseboro have to bring her ministry team, and they gonna they gonna set it all up, you know, and they're gonna minister effectively. Amen. So you call call KBR Ministries, and they're gonna come, and 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 the whirlwind is gonna come with them. Amen. So we just thank God. We're looking forward to being together again real soon. Uh, minister uh, Reverend Kim has already been with us in person. Y'all know, y'all know that it was with us last time. Oh, it was wonderful times. You know, I just she don't never let me come preach at her church, so that's why I don't know. I you know I'm you know I hop. No, no, it was called it was called a Roseboro Faith Dome last time. See, they changed their name to, to try to see if I can't find them, but I find them and be like, hey, what's what's up? And they be like. The Lord ain't, ain't 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 spoke to him yet. That's wow. that's wow. what folk say when they saying no. The Lord ain't told me yet. You know, uh, yeah. Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> I know th this is how we we carry on endlessly. But no, we appreciate we love and, and you. Love, we love you. you. Thank you so love much. You too. Love you too. Love you too. And God bless uh, ministry as you're continuing to work yes. and, and 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 all that you're doing. Amen. God, we pray you just bless KBR Ministries. God, we understand and we know that as you serve and teach those to serve, you prepare them to lead, Father. Yes. God, we thank you right now. You continue to bless. God, withhold no good thing from her as she walk up right before, before you, God. Bless her family. Bless Charles, God. God, we bless, we pray, God, even bless uh, their, their family at, at home and their, in their respective hometowns and ministry that continues to go forth uh, in an excellent manner. We thank God for them. We pray your continued blessing, even in this time that might be shortage for others, is increased for your people. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 It is so. We've already done the benediction. That was just for, for Reverend Roseboro. But those that are on with us tonight, if you need prayer, get in contact with us. Absolutely. Uh, if you need to learn how to pray, get in contact with us. Amen. Because we need to be making every effort to allow God to hear from us. Come on here, y'all. Come on now. Come on. God needs to hear from us. So join us every Monday. 7 p.m. we do prayer. Join us Wednesday right here, Word Wednesday. Our youth Zoom Fridays at 5.30, uh, Saturday, uh, Sundays uh, at 12.30 p.m. Uh, Rev, do you have any events or anything you've got coming up that, uh, that you'd like to share, what have you? All right, well, we won't tell them about the tent revival just yet. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and, we'll, okay, we'll tell them about that in a little bit. Amen. But God bless you all. Have a blessed rest of the week. Yes. Declare it right now. The rest of the week is blessed. God bless you all. We'll see you real soon. God bless. Bye.